Hey guys, so today I'm giving my four month update on my braces. I'm so excited. I probably should have been like a cheerleader in high school, but I'm so excited to let you guys know what was the dealio on my teeth. Okay, so just to let you guys know, the type of braces that I'm wearing are the self ligating braces, and what those are they are fast acting braces they are modern technology they are so much more beneficial than your average traditional braces they are faster acting require less orthodontic appointments they are supposed to not hurt as much and um, they do not require rubber bands even though i'm wearing them but i'll get into all of that soon my last orthodontic visit was about three weeks ago and I got a few cute, cool things done to my mouth from that visit. Okay, so for one, I got a new wire. I actually have a thicker wire than what I recently had. This is my third wire change. It is a much thicker wire and it feels more tight on my teeth and I feel like my teeth are actually shifting. Another thing that I got was color rubber bands the last time i had a light pink color but i was not really feeling that color because of the fact that i couldn't really see it and i just wanted to really embrace my braces journey so this time i have teal teal i heard is supposed to make your teeth look a lot whiter so i felt like that was a good goal and i just wanted to try it out i love the color teal and um, i think it looks great Another thing that I got at the appointment was my bottom row. All this time, for three months, I had only the top row. This time, they finally gave me my bottom row, and I'm so excited. The very last thing that I got done was I now have a power chain in the very back of my mouth. The, um, I think it's it, the, the, uh, the molar, um, the second to last molar. I have a power chain back there and I think that's just to kind of shift things in place so that it would make space for a crooked tooth on the very left side of my mouth on that same row. Okay, so the pain. Everyone wants to know, do braces hurt? I'm going to let you know the real. I'm not going to lie to you. Braces hurt, okay? Now I know you might be wondering, well Desiree, didn't you say that self ligating braces are supposed to be a lot less? pain well they are a lot less pain because inevitably your teeth are going to shift and you're going to feel it so you're going to feel either pressure or pain in my case i was a little hard-headed and i'll tell you why okay so the orthodontic assistant she was the one that was working on my mouth and i had asked her hey can i get the teal color this time and she said, okay, sure. So she put it on the top row, and then when she got to the bottom row, she asked me again. She asked me, are you sure you want rubber bands on the bottom row? And I thought that was like one plus one. Like, you don't just have color on the top and not get color on the bottom. You know, I want, I want to embrace my color. So she looked at me, and then she said, okay. And then she started running down the different pain medications that I, should, I could take. If it gets unbearable, then you can take this. And I'm looking at her like, lady, really. My top row did not hurt at all. They didn't hurt. And on top of that, I, I had to endure so many extractions in my mouth that I know what pain is in my mouth and I think I can endure it. And um, I was not listening to her. I was like, yeah, okay. Because of the fact that I did not have to take pain medication for the top row, I kind of brushed her off. So um, I think I spoke too soon because the very next morning, I woke up in pain. Now this pain was more like a pressure. And it felt a lot like the pressure that I felt on my top row. But it didn't really feel too intense where I had to take medication. So what I tried to do was just brush off the pain and ignore it. But the pain intensified as I was at work. And it's a good thing that I had some pain medication on hand. I had to take two of those bad boys throughout the day. And um, at one point I actually had to put my head down on my face and you know, rub my other, uh, my other cheek because it was just a lot of pain. 
I think my pin was more because I got the rubber bands on the bottom and the rubber bands actually create friction and that is why the self ligating braces are supposed to hurt a lot less because they do not require rubber bands and they actually move around without you feeling the friction of the traditional approach. Okay, so on top of the pain, I encountered much progress. So much progress that that is why I'm so excited in this video. So my top row has changed dramatically. I see it in pictures, I see it in videos, I see it every day as I look in the mirror and I am so excited. I had a major um, case of overcrowding, I had high canines, so much stuff going on up there. I got a, an extraction on the very top. Um, the tooth right next to the canine. I got that extracted in order to make space for the rest of the teeth to fall down, which is why I had half of a wire in the very beginning of my procedure. Yeah, they gave me half of a wire on the top of my teeth, and I'm like, well, what is the point in having braces if I'm just going to have half of a wire on the top? But what they did was they made space in order to get that tooth extracted and make everything okay. My, my canines have fell. I never thought my canines could actually look normal in my mouth, but they fell and they're still falling, they're still moving around and making things good. As far as the bottom row, because it's been only a matter of a couple of weeks, I have not seen much progress. Um, I know for the top row, I saw progress within the very first few weeks. But for the bottom, it's a little bit slower acting. I don't know if maybe it's because of my overcrowdedness on the bottom, the twisted tooth over there, and the extractions over there, and just a bunch of stuff. So I know that things are going to shape around and move around in its time. I am completely excited because I know that my teeth will be looking amazing, amazing when this whole procedure is done. On top of that, I have like a year and many months left in this procedure, so so much can happen. And that is basically all that I had to say about my fourth month in braces. The only concern that I do have is the fact that I had half of a wire in the beginning of the procedure. That side of my mouth, I feel like that side straightens out a lot quicker than the other side. When I actually had to get the entire, uh, the next wire change, it seemed like this side is a lot more straighter than that side. That side seems a little bit more crooked. Hence, when I speak, I have to speak in a smile or I'm going to look like my mouth is twisted and look real crazy. Because um, this wire is still sticking out and my lip likes to rest on it. So I have to, I have to now train myself to speak in a smile and it's just a lot but I know that it's all going to be worth it in the end. I encourage you guys if you're thinking about getting braces, if you just got them done or if you yourself are in your fourth month, you can do it. I'm telling you like look I am your cheerleader. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Seriously, get them done. They are the best investment you could ever make in yourself. A beautiful smile brings forth confidence and you can speak to people and look at them in the face and not feel like you look crazy with your teeth looking all over the place. Look, I've been there and that's why I can speak about it. I'm so excited to update you guys on the next month which is which will be in July my next appointment is I believe July 20th so I will be coming back to you guys on what changed since then or since now until then and if you guys have any questions about braces in general please let me know and I will respond to you as soon as possible and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye